Hello, and welcome to my tiny kitchen, the show where I have a tiny kitchen, and then I make stuff in it. Today, I'll be making not one, but two things, really pushing the, pushing the envelope for my kitchen size. I'll be making cornbread, uh, skillet cornbread, and refried beans. Uh, to make the cornbread, I'll be using milk, salt, uh, baking soda, flour, eggs, and cornmeal. And to make the refried beans, I'll be using beans and refried bean mix. <laughs> um, and for a reason unknown to me, um, Japanese people really enjoy giving me tomatoes, so I've got more of those. And I'm also going to be using cilantro at some point, because cilantro is delicious with Mexican things. It has come to my attention that I have no measuring things in this kitchen, so I'm pretty much going to be eyeballing all this. I know the, uh, the corn meal and the flour are supposed to be in equal parts. Ooh, that's too much. We'll find out. Look at this. This is pretty awesome too. Get this out of here. This baking powder comes in these handy dandy little 5 gram packages. So hopefully 5 grams is approximately equal to, let's see, half a teaspoon. Mm. Alrighty. So here are my very precisely mixed ingredients here. Um, equal parts flour and cornmeal, baking powder and, well, obviously not equal to baking powder, um, but there's baking powder and salt in there. And here we have uh, egg, milk, and oil, which is also very precisely measured. You don't want to mess that up, otherwise nothing will ever turn out ever. Okay, and now that that's all mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw it in the, the pot there. But I'm not going to do it with one hand, because it's going to get everywhere. And this is not the ingredient I want on the floor. Okay, so now that's going to cook on low heat for a little while. Hopefully it turns into tasty bread soon. In the meantime, I'll be making these little beans. Go oh, beans! In Japan, they don't really sell beans in big packages. You just have to get these little dinky ones. <clears throat> Come on. I don't know. I figured I'd just be able to mash these with my fork, but if you've ever tried to mash beans with a fork before, this really sucks. Oh, God. Well, I guess maybe I'll just power through this. I'll be back to you in 10 minutes. You probably figured out before I did that uh, today's ingredient on the floor was going to be beans. Aw, uh, yeah. Uh, also, I uh, flipped over my uh, cornbread, and it's looking pretty tasty, but I'm definitely not doing it in that deep of a, a pan anymore because it was very, very difficult to flip. Hopefully it's all cooked by the time I'm finished here. As you can imagine, I've had, a, I've had a quite enough with these goddamn beans. I'm just going to put this right in there to fry. You ever come? Oh, these beans are proving to be quite a hassle. Hopefully they're delicious. I do love free-fried free -fried beans as well. I also love cornbread, and that's looking pretty tasty. I was following the recipe, and uh, the beans looked awfully dry. So what I did is I uh, just kept adding water and mashing it into the pan, and... Uh, it's looking a lot more like the, the refried beans I know. Actually, a lot more. Alrighty. This is more or less what I've got so far. Um, my plate is awfully small. <laughs> so, uh, I'm probably going to have to eat a little bit and put more on my plate if I want to eat some more. But let's give this a try. Alright. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Cornbread's a little dry, but uh, the refried beans might make up for it. Not 
Not bad at all. So there you have it. Refried beans and cornbread and tomato. And I recommend a bigger plate.